Hey, what's up, folks? I want to draw your attention to my funny hat. It's called a beret. It's French. Because today I am an artiste, an artisan. I'm going into the fragrance lab and concocting some fragrances. Let, let, me, let me show you guys what's going on here. But before I do, I gotta put on the safety glasses. Safety first, all right? Don't try this at home. I wanna bring my supplies to your attention. I got my droppers. This is my perfuming alcohol, specifically made for perfuming. See, it's called Mr. Ben's Fragrance Dilutant. Some fragrance oils. This is Saudi Arabian attar oil. I don't even know what it is, but it's a really fresh, bright, fruity scent that smells a lot like a silverberry tree. Because my parents' house in Turkey, they have a silverberry tree in their backyard, and whenever it's blooming, it has this really wonderful scent. There's another, this is a, I believe it's Ilang Ilang. Arabic attar oil and I've got these three oils from Al Rehab empty perfume bottle with a screw cap these are fragrances that I've made already I didn't make them from scratch but there are my own unique fragrances I got my tea it's green tea and black tea mix because I can't stomach green tea by itself but it's supposed to be good for you so I'm this is a black tea and green tea mix. <laughs> what I did in the past, see I like working with fragrance oils because fragrance oils, they come in packages that are, that, that are, you can open and you can actually customize the fragrance to your liking. I think I'm like the only person in the world that doesn't love Aventus. And I tried some clones. I have actually went to Neiman Marcus and I sprayed some on and I took some for a test drive and I'm really not a huge fan of Aventus. I like it, but I don't love it. So um, I just happened to have these in my collection. This is an Aventus, I don't know if you guys can see it. This is an Aventus clone oil, which is very close to the real Aventus. The smell is very close. And this is the, this is by, um, I don't know, Perfume S Sensational Shop Perfumes or something like that. This one is called Avenue. This is the Al Rehab version of um, Aventus. So what I did was I took some essential oils by the way, essential oils are not the oils that you should be using for for um, perfuming. I just learned that the hard way. I mean, they smell okay, but they don't last long enough for perfuming. So you have to go to a, you go to a website that sells actually perfuming supplies and get the real perfuming fragrance oils. Like this is a real fragrance oil. This is an essential oil. This is a sweet orange. This is a lemon. This is a this is a, a fragrance oil also. This is from Saudi Arabia. This is a fragrance oil. This is vanilla. Straight up vanilla fragrance oil. So what I did was, I went all in. I took a whole bottle of this Aventus. I took this Avenue one. I put it in there. I added some vanilla. Some of this. And I added a few drops of this fragrance oil. This is really potent. This is an Arabic fragrance oil. It's like my secret ingredient. Just a few drops of that. And I came up with this. This is really fantastic. It smells kind of like Aventus, but just different enough. The vanilla really helps it. And that fresh, I call it silverberry tree scent. 
gives it another layer of fruitiness and it came out really good and it's it, it, this is extremely concentrated you know I'm learning my French like eau de cologne is three to five percent concentration Ooh, the toilet is 10, uh, 5 to 10 percent. Ooh, the parfum is 10 to 15 percent concentration. This right here is 40 percent concentration. I call this ooh, the fuck, because I want to keep it French. This is Aventus ooh, the fuck. Yeah. I've been learning some French, that's for sure. Do you know what Eau de Cologne means? It means water from Cologne, like Cologne, Germany. You know what Eau de Toilet means? Water from the toilet. Huh. It's a funny fact for you. Anyway. This is another one I made. I call this one Sauvagilla Vagina. What I did is I took a bottle of this Sauvage oil, which is very close to the real deal of Sauvage. I tested him. Um, I tested him with, with real Sauvage on one hand, and and this stuff on the other. It's exactly like Sauvage, but it just opens up differently, and it, it just um, the way it dries down is different. Oil dries down differently where um, the alcohol-based Sauvage, it projects a lot better because the alcohol helps it dry down very a lot quicker and, and it kind of gives you that burst of scent, that burst of smell. The, the oil, on the other hand, it's kind of just, it opens up a little at a time and when you sweat, it starts projecting like crazy, the oil does. That's when it starts releasing damn telephone telemarketers all the time I gotta wait for that telephone to stop I never answer my landline because all it is is telemarketers all the time and it's freaking annoying now they're messing up my video anyway as I was saying I took the Sauvage oil I put it in here and then I took some vanilla and I took some of this secret ingredient Arabic attar oil and what I have here is sauvage that's a little fresher and with vanilla in it right here so that's why I call it Sauvagella Vagina And this too is Ooh the fuck concentration This is like 40% perfume oil So two sprays of this and you're probably good <laughs> You're good for a whole day But um Yeah, so what I'm gonna do today I have these I have these Al Rehab fragrances that I don't really care for. This is the Dakar, which is the Dracar clone. I, oh, I just blind bought a whole bunch of these things. All right, this is the Dracar. And, and what I did was I, I tried using it a little bit and I was like, you know what? It doesn't smell right. It doesn't smell like Dracar, which is not a problem because I don't really care if it smells exactly like it. But there was like a note in it that I didn't like. Kind of like a, in the base, it's kind of like the uh, the musk or the there's like a cumin kind of note in it that I don't like so I didn't really wear this much I have the reg I have the real Dracar cologne so what I did was I I used some of this and I, I opened it up and I put some lemon oil in it and some sweet orange oil in it so this has been marinating for about a month with lemon and sweet orange and I actually tried it and it was definitely an improvement from the original oil. This one is Zahrat Hawaii. 
which is a Virgin Island Water clone. And this one, I actually like it. You know, I love the smell is really nice. It's really fruity and I, I actually like it a lot. But I have one gripe and that is it just comes across really feminine to my nose. Um, I prefer the silver, the silver mountain water better for um, for the summer. I mean, this is good. Don't get me wrong. But it's just um, it's really feminine, and it's it's a summertime scent. And I'm not going to be wearing this because fall is starting to kick in. So I got this oil, and then I've got another bottle of that. Aventus stuff This was back before I realized that I'm not a fan of Aventus. This is another bottle of Avenue Which I also opened up and I put some of this Arabic Silverberry smelling oil. I Put some of that in there and this has been marinating like this for about a month. All right so since it is almost time for Halloween, I got my empty perfume bottle here. It is almost time for Halloween, so I got my perfume bottle. I don't know if you guys could see this. I got my dropper. So it's time to create my Frankenstein monster. You know, I've been learning a little bit about this perfuming. I think this is a pretty fun hobby. And I've been looking for a place to get some perfuming supplies. Like, um, to get legitimate actual fragrance oils that have a whole bunch of different flavors. And, um, if anybody knows a good website where I could pick some of those up, there's one that I saw, it's called, um, perfumersapprentice.com which seems pretty cool and I was just thinking maybe are there any other ones out there that are good for perfuming supplies just let me know like the stuff I got here I bought from a local shop like these bottles this was I think three bucks for the empty bottle these I got online these Al Rehab oils and these were just um just in my house actually these essential oils and I bought some lemon essential oil thinking I could use that as perfume oil but it doesn't work as good as actual perfume oil this is what I'm gonna do first off it's the Dakar oil going in first I was gonna use the dropper but I said you know what I'm gonna go all in with this bitch because it is almost Halloween and I'm going to call this my Frankenstein. Jakar Virgin Island Water. And Aventus. <laughs> you see, you can't do this shit with the real colognes. You can't mix them up like this. They're all sealed because they don't want anybody tampering with their, their formula. But when you got the oils, the oils do smell very similar. It's not like they're um, they're slouchy in their scent. Actually, some some oils actually smell better. It just smell, smells more natural. Like these Al Rehabs, they they smell very natural to my nose. Never give me a headache, and it just feels like the ingredients are actually pretty top notch. That was the Aventus, which was also mixed with some of this. And this right here is the Virgin Island water. I am an artiste. People will not know my contributions till after I'm dead, like most artists. I am an artiste. I love to create. Now this is a real hobby. Collecting different colognes. Is that really a hobby? Come on. That's just consumerism. What's 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 so what's the big deal about just going out and ordering 
colognes online or going to a store and buying colognes. What's the magic in that? That's not a hobby. That's just buying shit. Now, if you get some of these oils and you start tweaking them, I think this is the future right here of perfuming. Now, I doubt it. People are too lazy to be doing this shit. They just want to get a bottle and spray it on them. Which is pretty... Which I don't blame them for. Some people, it's just not for them. But um, I'm, I'm going to go on that Perfumer's Apprentice, or if you guys know another website where I could buy the actual um, perfuming oils, the actual absolutes, the stuff that, that real perfumers use to make up their, their fragrances. I would like to definitely um, to start messing with it just as a hobby because it is a lot of fun. So here we go. I would say this is about 30% oil and now I'm adding the alcohol. Wow, it came out to be a weird green color. Holy shit, that's actually perfect for Halloween. It's like a freaking slimy green color. Holy shit. This is perfect. So I'm going to fill it all the way almost to the top. I want to give it a little extra room on the top so I can give it a good shake. Because if you fill it up too much, you can't really shake it that well. It came out green. So this is my Frankenstein. I call this Frankenstein. You want to know what Creed's Aventus, Virgin Island Water, and Dracar smells like? Anybody want a decan of this shit? Anyway. Next up, got to shake it. Shake it up really nice, let it marinate. Actually, I'm just going to put this aside. I'm going to test it right now to see how it came out. After I'm done shaking it. It's the perfect freaking color, man. Unbelievable. You see that? It's freaking green. This is awesome. I'm going to call this... Frankenstein by Elias. That's my name. Frankenstein by Elias. It has a nice ring to it. So does Sauvagilla Vagina by Elias. Yeah, man, that sounds exo exotic enough, right? Sounds exotic enough. People be lined up to buy that shit. They're like, what? Sauvagilla Vagina? I guess that's enough shaking for now. Let me just give it a, a preliminary smell. Give it a spray. Hmm. Wow. It's interesting. Like, I smell the Virgin Island water the most. The Zahrad Hawaii. Right now, I smell that the most. Um, because that is pretty much mostly top notes. And like a little bit musk, but the musk is a really feminine musk. So it's not like a lot of dirt in this. So I guess I'm going to smell that first. And then when it starts drying down, that's when the Drakkar and the uh, Aventus will probably kick in. Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. That's the beauty of it all. It's really easy to just grab a fragrance spray it on and you could be like oh man that sucks it's a terrible fragrance just be a critic but in this case you could buy a fragrance and you could say wow that fragrance is not to my liking if it only had a little bit neroli you get some neroli perfume drop it in there and then you have your own scent anyway anybody want a decan of this Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Smell you later.